today we're going to look at the top 20 vintage used video games out there right this very minute. This is the Arcade Experience. We're ColecoVision, and we bring the Arcade Experience home. What do you see? Reggie White. This year, we at Sega Sports really studied the players. Reggie White. We learned some interesting things. Reggie White. So, how far did we go to understand the players? Maybe too far. <laughs> NFL Football 94 starring Joe Montana. Real teams, real players from Sega Sports. Now, what do you see? Sega! Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to look at the top 20 vintage video games, the used ones, not the ones that are NOS that you see going for tons of money. There are single cartridges opened, used, out of the package that can still sell for thousands of dollars right this minute, and that's what we're looking at today. Finding the best video game system is a tough game to win. Who plays the most games, the best selling games? Now we're going to start at the lowest value ones here. I have not sorted them by system they come off from. These are ones that you can find out there now. Now some of these will have boxes, some of them won't. If you wait around to the very end after the credits of the video, I've got a couple bonus ones out there for you to look for as well. Now this is an NES game here. This is Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, and it says CIB, which is Complete Inbox, if you didn't know. All the inserts, the paperwork, everything, even the plastic bag that was inside of the box. And as you see, it sold for $883 with many, many bids. Now this one's from Sears. Sears did a lot of specialty items, action figures, games, video games that were only available through them. You had to order them from Sears. And this is one of the scarcer ones of the Atari line from the 2600 series. This is Superman Sears exclusive. You can see the price. It went for over $1,600 with many bids as well. <laughs> Warning, such behavior is irresponsible, mature, and very foolish. We recommend you try it at home. Paperboy from Mindscape for your Nintendo Entertainment System. Now this next one's a Super Nintendo Entertainment System, SNES, and this is Chrono Trigger. It went for well over $1,800 again. Many bids on this one here. The nicer the box, the better the price. The nicer the game, the better the price as well. If you don't have the box, it's not going to go for nearly as much. Now this is Princess Tomato. I have only seen the cartridge once in my life. They all sell for hundreds of dollars as long as they're decent and still work. Just as you see here, this one sold for $2,000. It's here, the revolutionary Neo Geo Pocket Color. Now this next one's for the Neo Geo here. This is an SVC Chaos video game. The cartridges were fairly large. I rarely run into anything from this system at all. Any of them go for some decent money, but this one here with the box, with everything you see here, $2,125 again with many bids. Now this next one's a Sega Genesis game here, Crusader of Century, and it sold for over $2,200. It's pretty much got everything. I don't know if it has the actual card your registration card or a few pieces of paperwork but it's pretty darn complete other than that a nice example here for sure now here's another nes here this is panic restaurant very unique title a lot of people probably weren't hunting down trying to find this they probably didn't make many of them either you can see by the price twenty four hundred dollars for this very scarce title now here's one from super nintendo here this is final fight guy extremely scarce it's something you're not going to find if you do find it chances are you're not going to run into the box but even without the box it still can sell for hundreds of dollars this one here sold for 2500 bucks now here's a unique one this is kind of like a knockoff that had six games in one and it's called my raid that's the basic manufacturer name on this one now i don't know if this is a legitimately licensed product or not but this one still is worth some big bucks because there weren't many of them made you don't run into any of these sorts at all especially with a box like this one here again another twenty five hundred dollar cartridge Cause I'm your pop song man, I'm your bubblegum man You know what I say to you And you know what you gonna do We gonna ride the bikes on the beach 
Because I'm your pop song. New limited edition Platinum Game Boy Advance. Now this is Super Bowling from the Nintendo 64 gaming system. The standard 64 cartridge you see there. Lots of bids on this one. $2,600 for Super Bowling. It says it's complete. Looks like it has the paperwork, the insert, the cartridge, the box. All in excellent condition. This is one of those really tough cartridges. There weren't a ton of people, I would imagine, that wanted to play bowling on a video game system. And that's why, again, this is probably as scarce as you could imagine. Now, this is Earthbound, a very sought-after game indeed. This is by Super Nintendo. It has everything with it, the box, the insert, and everything else you could imagine. It does say CIB, complete in box. It went for almost $3,000. you are a hedgehog and you have supersonic power. Ball up right now and roll! Now this is a nice one here. This is a graded by Wata, W-A-T-A, and this is graded at a 9.2 on a 10 point scale. That's pretty high. You don't run into boxes in that condition. The gaming, the whole works. On these sorts of grading, it breaks down the grades on everything. It grades the box, the cartridge, the insert, the booklet, all that kind of stuff is graded on one of these. This is an opened one. It's something you could still run into in a primo collection that's been put away for years. You can see by the price, almost $3,000 for this graded one. Now this is from Atari 2600, and this is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I've seen just the box from this cell for over a thousand dollars no game just the box so any of these sorts of things here like this for this line here the texas chainsaw massacre are worth some big bucks over three thousand dollars with many bids on it i don't think i've seen a complete one like this either so they just don't show up they weren't made in mass quantity chances are this was only ordered from certain specific places you couldn't just get this everywhere either he had the moves, the punches, the fire. But there was one thing he would never have, a way out. Virtual Boy presents more challenges inside the third dimension. August 10th, Tunnel Boxer, Red Alarm, Galactic Pinball. Virtual Boy, a 3D game for a 3D world. Wanna play? Now here's a Virtual Boy. If you don't know what that is, I would highly recommend looking into it. I've had several Virtual Boys. They're actually pretty unique. There's a Mario Tennis, which is pretty popular. This is Jack Bros. This is an extremely scarce game. The Virtual Boys weren't around very long, so there weren't a lot of games. And the ones that came out towards the end when they were canceling the whole line to begin with are extremely scarce. Most of them were made in limited quantity. Many people haven't a clue that that system actually exists. You don't run into them hardly ever anymore, especially at game stores and things like that either. And when they do show up, they sell extremely fast if they work. Hey, you still don't have a Sega CD? Huh? What are you waiting for, Nintendo to make one? Now this is from the Sega CD system here. This is a Kayo Flying Squadron, an anime related one here. You can see by the price, this is extremely scarce. Now some games you will see that were only released overseas or in different markets. There are different versions of some games. Some games had revisions as well. So when they were released the second or a third time to supply the demand for the game, there may be something different. There's many factors in pricing games also. Condition O is one of the most important ones. Mario, like you've never seen it. What's two plus two? Mario, capital of Ohio, Mario. You're going to live, breathe, eat, sleep. Now here's a Nintendo Super Mario Brothers, an original box here. This one's complete. It's a VGA version here. Excellent copy of it. The condition is just phenomenal. You can see by the price as well. There are tons of different versions of this game because it was so popular. It was released in many different countries. There's different pressings as well. Even different boxes. Even different ways some of these would be sealed. Some of the earliest games had a sticker and weren't cello wrapped at all. So some of those can go for some insane amounts of money. This one here went for $4,300 plus dollars with many, many bids. Here's another Nintendo. This is a crazy scarce one. This is the Flintstone Surprise at Dinosaur Peak. It's complete. It has a ton of paperwork with it. Inserts, box, everything you can imagine. Even loose without any of the paperwork box or anything else. Just the cartridge from this game. You can get a thousand bucks if it's in good condition and working. Now here's a Nintendo 64 cartridge here with the box and the whole works. This is clear. Play Fighter. An extremely sought after one. Everybody who collects 64 stuff is going to want this one here. 
$5,100. Again, this is one of those, just the cartridge can go for a thousand plus if it's working in an excellent condition. You can grade anything. You can grade just the cartridge. You can grade the whole lots, box and all, the pamphlets, all of that stuff is sendable, gradable items. Now this is Little Samson. This is another Nintendo with the box and the paperwork also. Over $5,000 as you can see with some crazy bidding on it also. All of these again will go for some big bucks. Just the cartridge with nothing else again. And this is one of those that can top a thousand bucks fairly easily. Another Nintendo, this is Family Fun Fitness Stadium Events. Extremely scarce. This one's graded by WADA as well. As you can see, it's just the cartridge. One thing you will see when you send in some of these extremely scarce ones is the company that grades it will take them apart to make sure that the internal parts are correct. This is a photo from the company that actually supplied it to the person mailing it in. They will examine every aspect of this grade it, make sure it works. Everything about your cartridge will be checked out. Work everything to make sure the label's correct and the whole works. You can see why when you look at the price when something like this sells for $30,000 with tons of bids. You will be surprised at how high many of these can go. The prices for some of the graded ones are just going for phenomenal amounts of money. 70, 80, even close to $100,000 for some graded video games. NOS, of course, in the box, sealed mostly for that price or super scarce ones that almost never show up like this one here I called the witch doctor he told me what to do he said ooh ee ooh ah ah tang tang wada wada bing bang that means play Dr. Mario on Game Boy or NES tang tang wada wada bing bang I beat the witch doctor and this is what he said he said ooh ooh ee ooh ah ah and then he struck my head. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please slam that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Hello? Hi. Who is this? You watching TV? Maybe. Who is this? What time? Well, it's big. 27 inch? Yeah. Picture in picture? I guess so. Swivel base? How'd you know? Under a white ceramic duck wearing a yellow raincoat? Where are you? Open the drapes. <laughs> One TV obsessed gecko. Revolutionary 3D graphics. Free roaming gameplay. It's guests and the gecko. Yes, yeah, tail time. For those of you who stuck it out to the very end, I've got these few bonus ones here for you. Now this is from the original Apple II, one of the very first Apples off the line, and this is Ultima. This is a floppy drive game. Look at the price on this one, $2,000 for this one here. Extremely scarce. These things don't show up. Most people assume they don't have a value. Who's going to be able to play them? Who has the disk drive to put these into? Most people give them away, trash them, or don't even think think to do anything with them at all. Now here's a unique line here. This is Donkey Kong Jr. Math. Some of the games that they created back in the day could have been used at schools and were actually learning tools like this one here. Now this is not the game. This is an empty box in not so great condition. You can see the price, $1,800 for an empty box. That is how super scarce this is. The person buying this may not even have the cartridge to go with it. They may just want the box because just the box is so extremely scarce. And lastly, we have here a Pokemon game from the Game Boy system. Most of these, if they're graded and sealed, will go for some phenomenal money. Over $40,000, over 100 bids on this one here. I've been hearing this other guy talk about his realistic home video football game. Well, I play real football, and I also play the new Atari real sports football, and I love it.